Okay, uh, we're going to do um, lesson six. We're going to do the review sheet right here. So here we go. Here's the level one. The level one asks you the name. So this figure is called a circle. You know it's a circle and not a sphere because there's nothing indicating that it's a three-dimensional figure. Okay, the area of a circle will be pi times the radius squared. So this distance across is called the diameter. If the diameter is 10, then the radius must be 5. So I square the radius. 5 squared is 25, so the area is 25 pi units squared. The circumference is going to be 2 pi times the radius. So again, if the radius is 5, then 2 times 5 is 10. So it's 10 pi units. All right, this is called a triangle. It has three sides, so we know it's a triangle. Triangle is a good enough name. You can call it a right triangle if you want because it does have this 90 degree angle, but triangle is fine. Area is going to be base times height divided by 2. So the base is the one that goes side to side, the height is the one that goes up and down. So 4 times 3 is 12, 12 divided by 2 is 6, so it's 6 units squared. And the perimeter is the full distance around, so we're just going to add up the three sides. So it's 3 plus 4 plus 5. 3 plus 4 is 7, plus 5 is 12, so it's 12 units, and that's that. All right, this next one, um, you can tell what it is because it has opposite sides that are parallel. This side is parallel to this side, this side is parallel to this side. It is a parallelogram, P-A-R-A-L-L-E-L-O-G-R-A-M. The area is going to be equal to base times height, so pay attention here because this is where people go wrong. The base is not the 10. The base goes side to side, so it's 9 times 15. 9 times 15 is 135, so it's 135 units squared. And the perimeter is the sum of all sides, so the sides are the ones on the outside. So it's 10 plus 15 plus 10 plus 15. 10 plus 15 is 30 plus another 10. Uh, sorry, it's 25 plus another 10 is 35 plus another 15 is 50, 50 units is correct. Last, we've got a rectangle. Um, you know it's a rectangle because it has four right angles. Rectangle. All right, the area of a rectangle is base times height, just like a parallelogram. Same area formula. So the base is the side to side, the height is the up and down. So if this is nine and this is four, then the area will be 36 units squared. And the perimeter will be the sum of all the outside uh, segments. So 9 plus 4 is 13, plus 9 is 22, plus 4 is 26. 26 units is the answer. Okay, um, our level 2 will be a lot like our level 1. The only difference is that there's some unknown information that we've got to figure out. And it's going to be figured out by the Pythagorean theorem. So if you look at this rectangle, we've got a triangle inside of it. So we have, um, we have, we know that if this is 12, that this is also 12. And what we need to figure out is x. So if you look at this triangle, the a will be x, the b will be 12, and the c will be 13. So if I want to know what x is, I'd put it into the Pythagorean theorem. I write x squared plus 12 squared equals 13 squared. So x squared plus 144 equals 169. Therefore, x squared equals 25. So x equals 5. So now the question is area and perimeter. Well, by area, it means the area of this rectangle. So it's base times height because the base goes side to side and the height goes up and down. So 12 times 5 will be our answer. It'll be 60 units squared. And the perimeter will be adding up all of the sides. So 12 plus 5 plus 12 plus 5. 12 plus 5 is 17. Plus 12 is 29 plus 5 is 34. 34 units. Okay. Next one, we've got another parallelogram. You can tell again that it's a parallelogram because these sides are parallel and these sides are also parallel. Um, it has this little hidden right triangle in it. So in this triangle, A looks like it's going to be the 6. B will be the X, and C will be the 10. So A is 6, B is X, C is 10, and what we write is 6 squared plus X squared equals 10 squared. That's 30 
6 plus x squared equals 100. We subtract 36 from both sides, we get x squared equals 64, therefore x equals 8. And that's important because that's the height of the parallelogram. So going back to level 1, the parallelogram area is base times height. So the base is this distance here. It's not 6, it's not 9, it's 6 plus 9. It's 15. So what we get is 15 times 8, which is 120 units squared. The perimeter will be 15 plus 10 plus 15 plus 10. 15 plus 10 is 25, plus another 15 is 40, plus another 10 is 50. 50 units squared. Okay. Um, on to level 3. Level 3 says, in words or pictures, explain why the triangle area formula is half the rectangle area formula. Well, if you think about taking a rectangle here, it has a base and it has a height. So see, the base is the side to side and the height is the up and down. If we are to divide that up by choosing any random point and going to the opposite corners, it can turn into this triangle, which has the same base and the same height, plus this triangle. This triangle, see, is made up of these two triangles. So what we get is that these two triangles are both exactly half of this rectangle. Therefore, if the rectangle equals base times height, then the triangles equal base times height divided by 2, because they're each half of the rectangle. Next, in words or pictures, explain why the rectangle area formula is the same as the parallelogram area formula. Well, consider that if you start with a rectangle, which again has a base and a height, and you are to remove this little triangle, it equals this shape here plus a little triangle, which equals this shape here. See, you glue it onto the other side, and you end up with something with exactly the same base and exactly the same height as the original rectangle, but is now a parallelogram. It has the same base, it has the same height, it has the same area, so therefore it must be the same formula. So they both equal base times height. Okay, last. Um, we've got this figure here. So we need to find the area of the square, the perimeter of the square, the area of the circle, the circumference of the circle, and the shaded area. So the area of the square is S squared. We know it's a square because these are congruent and all four angles are 90 degrees. So S squared means 6 square root of 2 squared. That becomes 6 square root of 2 times 6 square root of 2. So 6 times 6 is 36. And the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is the square root of 4. So you can do it like this. And of course the square root of 4 is 2. So it's 36 times 2 which equals 72. So the area of the square is 70 two units squared. The perimeter of the square is this plus this plus this plus this, and they're all the same. So 6 squared to 2 plus 6 squared to 2 plus 6 squared to 2 plus 6 squared to 2 equals 24 square root of 2 units. Simple as that. All right, the area of the circle. So again, that's going to be pi times the radius squared. The circumference is going to be 2 pi times the radius. So we've got to figure out what the radius is. Well, if this is 6 square root of 2, then this has to be half of that. So it's got to be 3 square root of 2. So pi times the radius squared, we've got to square this. So I'm going to add it over here. Pi times 3 square root of 2 squared. Well, that becomes pi times 3 square root of 2 times 3 square root of 2, which becomes pi times 3 times 3 is 9 square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is 2, so it equals 18 pi. So the area of the circle is 18 pi units squared. And last, the circumference of the circle is 2 pi times the radius, so that's simple. The radius is 3 square root of 2, so 2 times 3 square root of 2 is 6 square root of 2, and of course it's pi units.
And last, the shaded area. So what we've got is a square with a circle cut out of it. The shaded area is the difference between the square minus the circle. So the square area is 72, the circle area is 18 pi. So it's 72 minus 18 pi in parentheses units squared. Okay, and that does it for all of Lesson 6 review. Good luck. Watch it a bunch, uh, bunch of times. You should be fine. Thanks.